160.3 billion shillings and pesa uh, contributed 39.7 percent of the revenues i'd like us to cross over live and listening to that and this today we know but it's growing 20 percent plus we are investing uh, mobile data will continue to be growth driven still at the early stage you saw uh, it's growing double digit for a couple you know many years within that we spoke about enterprise those of you if you have been there in the our investors day there is a presentation around uh, in, uh, on uh, enterprise you saw I, iot ict uh, cloud those are in enterprise space those are growing 50 60% yes on a small base but that's how the business gets built up new new revenue come at a lower base and it grows and you create that you scale up over a period of time um, and the content digital areas we are revamping our platform and of course at the group level then we have Ethiopia coming and as Peter mentioned will become an important growth driver top line uh, driver uh, in the coming years medium to long term thank you Peter back to you on DG farm and public sector focus and unless you want to add anything on the yeah, yeah. probably if I could Peter, mm -hmm. before um, I think both of the questions at the back they were specific and I think I can summarize them to say what are we doing in the future to counter the road bumps or the speed bumps that we, we are coming across? I think that will answer the question specifically. And I think if you give them a strategy of what we're doing with the, with the fiber, what we're doing with enterprise solutions, what we're doing with technology, it will give comfort. Yeah, I, I was going to say, you know, when you are a, a CEO versus a CFO, I look at the positive piece uh, in terms of, uh, I think your question was, uh, how do we continue to deliver strong performance despite all these whole macro, uh, macro pieces. Uh, and and DILIP is right. You know, we are measured to, to, to deliver various aspects of uh, uh, various stakeholders here. Yeah? So the chairman said we, we are here to transform lives. So we have to continue to make sure that we are relevant to our customers. So we've reduced prices across the board. Uh, we've made our products more affordable. Uh, and uh, so you'll have seen that we've reduced prices on M-Pesa, on mobile data, and so on and so forth. So we need to continue to be more affordable as a brand. Uh, and at the same time, protect the interest of shareholders. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why we run productivity and so on. Um, so on the top line, you'll have seen from Dilip's presentation that we are growing usage across all lines of business at a much faster rate than revenue because we are delivering more value. That is very important at a time where also the macroeconomic pushes us to actually also manage the bottom line and that's where productivity is important. So structurally that's where we are going to solar uh, instead of using diesel. Uh, I, I know there was a question about are we going to sell towers. Uh, sharing towers will become more important in the future uh, so that we become a more efficient business, we are able to price better. And also we are able to actually deliver both uh, to, uh, to customers, but also to our shareholders. Just going back to what, what, the, what the chairman was referring to, we want to accelerate new growth areas. And I need to say new growth areas, not just ICT, IoT. Within our existing businesses, like for example, in financial services, we are, primar we are very good with the payments. We penetrated payments quite significantly, but we can improve the offerings. We can go into credit. Credit will primarily be on the consumer side. We, can, we have started now going to enterprise side on the credit side. Uh, but there's still a lot of work to do on the, on the wealth, uh, democratizing wealth, democratizing access to insurance, uh, and really using the ecosystem and the platforms we have uh, to be able to offer more broader offerings. So, it is, it is, when we say new growth areas, it's not just completely new, it is also adjacencies within our existing business. Mobile data, we only have a third of our customers having 4G. If we double 4G devices in the country, which we intend to do, we will find a lot of people using uh, more, more mobile data. And, and even in voice, we have actually been going...